So here is a new measuring device. It is called a dial caliper. It is going to get us more detailed readings. There's some knobs on it. This knob is to loosen it up so it can move. If you tighten it down, this doesn't move. This knob is for zeroing so that when you close it all the way down, it should read zero, straight up zero. If it doesn't, you loosen it a little bit and then you can turn the dial. So for example, if it reads like there, when we're closed all the way down, see my left hand still closing it down. We turn it so we get zero. And then we tighten that back up. And then this dial that I'm doing with my right thumb is how we move things. We can actually measure three different ways here, inside, outside, and depth. For example, if I wanted to measure how wide this pencil was, I put it in here, I dial it down, and then I look at these numbers here. And we're at 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. We've just gone past the 0 0.3 line. And then we come into the dial, and we're at 0 0.301, 0 0.2, but we're about 0 0.305. Because if we're up to here, let's push it up to here, that would be 0 0.310. So again, we dial it down, tighten it in. This would be just past 0 0.3. Just past 0 0.3 would be 0 0.301, 302, 303. This is 0 0.305. Now let's measure something else. Let's measure this. Again, I'm gonna measure outside. Gotta open it up, get it in there. Again, we're reading this line here. We're at one. One, one, two, three, four, six, seven. We're not quite to the one eight point eight yet. So we're at 1.7, then we go to the dial. 1.76, 1.765, because it's at like 65. It's just past 65, but it's not close to 66. So you could say 1.7651, 1. 1.7651. Now, as I said, we can use this top part up here and we can read an inside like we were reading inside diameter so you get the hooks in there kind of thing same kind of thing going the line we're at one five we're not up to six yet so 1.5 read the dial 1.58 four it's about at 84 right 1.584 it's not quite up to that five now you could go like how far between the 84 and the 85 and go that. So you could say 1.5843. I can't read it with that much detail on the camera. And then we also have depth, which is this thing sticking out the end. So you do that, stick it out the end, push it down until the side catches or stops it see how it's stopping it there and then you read just like we read before 0. 0.4 3 1 2 3 it's past the 3 point point four three three five. that last digit's always a guess so you're going to be close with pe other people that are reading it also. You're going to be off by one or two on that last. You're going to be different by one or two on that last digit. Because it's a guess about how far in between, for example, the 33 and the 34 this is. So let's read one more thing to see how we're doing. We're going to measure the di diameter of this. So we're just past 0 0.6. We're at 0.61. Zero. That's a little bit just past the point one zero. You could say point one, point six one zero. But you could say point six one one also, say, showing that just a touch past that ten, but it's not up to uh, 
to 11 yet. 0.61 1 well, Actually 0.611 would be here, wouldn't it? It would be up there a little bit. So this would really be 0 0.6101 if we want to say it was over there, right? Because 1, 1 would be 11. Okay. 0 0.610. You can say 0 0.6105. If you want to say it's a little bit past there, 101. But 0.610 is very good. And this is actually measuring in inches. So that is a dial caliper. Measure a few things. Let's see what we get.